The Panthers Poundcast is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions expressed on the show are solely those of the presenters and in no way reflect the views of the Panthers organization. Listener discretion is advised. You got it. So, where are we starting? Mm. With an introduction to this fine program. Here's the introduction. Welcome to the Panthers Poundcast. I am Los Pantera, along with this guy. Ric Flair. And this guy. Stone Cold Steve Austin. No, Austin. Don't. That's Jamaicus, and I'm Master Splinter. And don't fight each other, guys. <laughs> no, no royal rumbling on the couch. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. That is still in the playoffs. It's almost, fuck all that, football's <laughs> over. It's almost <laughs> time for us to have a new season and we'll almost guaranteed be better than 6-10. and 10. How's hockey going? Almost <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> almost guaranteed. You'd think we'll be better than that. We do play all the last place teams in their divisions and we have a, we'll have a... The schedule hopefully. looks super light. Hopefully. You never know. Only two playoff the teams. get another year in training camp. That's where Liam Cal- Calvary came on. Calvin and Funch just get another sure. year together. It They'll was probably camp. have a nice secondary coach, you know. Yep. Maybe. Well... With Steve Wilkes moving up to our defensive coordinator position after Sean McDermott left us for the should, Buffalo should Bills. Should we say goodbye and thank you to Coach McDermott? I'd say so. He had us a top five D for a lot of years in a row. He's I, there with us in I the Super Bowl. I appreciate all the work that you put in Good on this team. Good luck in Buffalo. Uh, no, I, I just, yeah, there's no reason to wish you luck because you're in Brady's division. Yeah. Have fun losing a lot. <laughs> yeah. What if he's I mean, he's, he's at the Bills. But what if he's the key to be Brady? No way, Brady's 39. Sure. He's you think older, that he's Sean got, McDermott well, is the key to fixing the Buffalo Bills. I know it wasn't Rex Ryan. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I think that there's more than one problem with that. All my Bills fans out the, there. The number one is that they play in the Patriots division. You're right, I know. I told Linda about that. Oh, she also said, I uh, want to know if we were going to talk about today about how awesome the Patriots were. There's nothing to say about As it. As a topic. I mean, yeah, way to go to win. Well, my response was they didn't look all that fucking awesome last night. They did win by a lot of points. They did, right. But for the Patriots. And the, was it the kickoff t- return of touchdown to start the game? Oh, I don't know. I didn't watch that fucking game. I'm pretty sure Hester broke, I care about broke the, the fuck out. I don't know what to In the uh, Seattle. In, uh, in, in the Seattle-Atlanta game, Devin Hester was going off on kickoff returns. I mean, he, he, had, I don't, he didn't hit a home run or anything, but I mean, he was getting back to the floor. Almost did. Yeah, he, that whole he, game could have been different if it wasn't for that. He about did. Uh, I guess this is a perfect point to say fuck Atlanta. Fuck uh, you. Fuck go, your team, Atlanta. I hate, I hate, I hate. I, they can't win the Super Bowl. They go can't Dallas win the Super or Green Bay. <laughs> yeah, go Dallas or Green Bay. Whatever it may be. And Atlanta if, can't, if that doesn't can't work out, we'll, go Tom Let's Green. switch back a, a bit to uh, Steve Wilkes. He did, I read an interview with him that actually was just posted a couple hours ago. Oh. And he, he said that he would like aggressiveness to be his new calling card. And, you know, a lot of people say we're going to have an aggressive defense. But he went a little further in saying that. He wants an offense to have to react to us, whereas it seems a little too lately we're reacting to them. I appreciate that as a mindset. He says he's going to have aggressiveness in the meeting rooms, the way they approach practice, the way they even do drills. He's just going to have these guys fucking angry and pissed off. That is what should be. Well, I just want to see more aggressiveness when it comes to play calling because how many times this year did we get into a situation where we were feeling pretty good and we went into a uh, prevent defense where we're just – Allowing these small plays that have continually killed us over the past. Doesn't it kind of feel like that's been since McDermott's been here? For sure. Like the Rivera's rookie year with Cam. You letting off? We lost games like that. We had leads in fucking six fourth quarters or something. Right, right. Yeah, with some record. So I just want to see us put our foot on opponents' throats and just keep going. I feel like that's how come he said that. I mean, what are you going to do different? It's almost like politics. You're the new guy. Well, what are you going to do this different? Well, we're going to be more about. fucking aggressive. I yeah. read one article that said that we should expect to see less uh, disguise A-gap blitzes. We should see more man coverage, less safety blitzes. He's more interested in letting the secondary cover because he is a secondary coach. Yeah, and getting burned a lot sucks like we did all year. Yeah. 
Well, he sounds like a fucking good uh, replacement as ever. He's been with the team what five years now? Five years. He has he's, good to uh, promote within if you feel like yeah, and he's he's familiar with Rivera, he's so that's assistant great. Assistant head coach, or he was assistant head coach. Yeah. So, in that capacity, you imagine that he and Rivera are extremely close. He understands right. exactly. what Rivera what wants to for the team. Yeah. He understands uh, Rivera's schemes. He understands. It, it's like we were direction. terrible this year when we had some good things going, but at the same point, we had some fucking terrible things. So if he can sew it all together, new regime, breathe a little fresh, uh, aggressive life, like you said, I think he's going to be great. Well, or I, I can only yeah. fucking hope. I don't know. It's going to be fine. And then, and then when Peanut Tillman comes in as a new secondary coach, that'll be awesome. See, I said that a couple of years ago, that I thought it'd be great. I think he wants to work here, clearly. he's in. He did Charlotte. an emoji. <laughs> I don't know that it'll happen, but I think <laughs> it'll be like awesome. The, the pinched lip thing. He's like, don't care, anybody. How big was it when Charles Tillman came in and started teaching guys the peanut punch? Well, we went to the Super Bowl. How about that? Let, <laughs> that's what I said. Why does he retire? Seven. He's standing on the sideline in, in fucking crutches, and he's going to come back next week. And it's like, just be a coach. Teach him. He clearly has a wealth of knowledge, and he still has a love for the game. So he's going to show up every day and do what he has to do. For sure. Damn, I just read a shitty stat that I want to share with you, fellas, based on shittiness of this year. About what? Cam Newton is one in six against Dan Quinn coached football teams. What? That's that's right. Since he's been in Atlanta, we've that never is had the smoked. worst fucking thing I've, I've ever heard. And he always killed us in Seattle. Yep. And we only beat Seattle when he left. That was Dan Quinn and Pete Carroll. We've already beat Dan Quinn uh, once. Atlanta once, and that's the one. The other. Six. So we're one in three against Dan Quinn head coach teams. I'm trying to be positive here, Splinter. Up, uh, there's no positivity. Up. That sucks. That's here's, terrible. Here's so fuck he's, you. He's he's always, fuck sucks. you, Dan Quinn. Other people will learn how to be. Fuck man, that's just how it is. It's gonna be tough, man. The NFC South is gonna be legit if these guys go and win the fucking Super Bowl. The Bills took our linebacker coach too. See, no, they did not. They didn't. They didn't. No, uh, they it says didn't. likely is what I said. Uh, no. le- they Open. hired uh, they hired Leslie Frazier to take that position. Leslie oh, Frazier. GT. Here's a fucking article. Who the hell Leslie Frazier? The Let's, DT? Uh, he used to be the head coach of Minnesota. Minnesota yes, I remember. And he was a ballet dancer. <laughs> he sounds like it. He does. So, what else is new, Mr. Los Pantera? Well, Splinter. Oh, was I supposed to say something? Do we have a segment coming up that I'm forgetting about? No. Okay. <laughs> You're just the host. I figured you, uh, you'd lead us into our next... We're uh, co-hosts. But yeah, whatever you want to talk about, let's talk about the playoffs. Let's talk about. Did you watch any of the game last night? <laughs> did you I, see Russell Wilson getting? I insane? watched the Atlanta and Seattle game, and fucking Atlanta slaughtered them. They look good. Seattle's only won one playoff game on the road since 2012. I mean, that is a fair stat, but at the same time, Atlanta looked really, really, really good. Yeah. Like insane. Like that's they look bad. they look like the Patriots. You know they're gonna win the Super Bowl and our lives are gonna be miserable. Stop saying that. Like it's gonna make it difficult. I hate to be the last team in the NFC South but I was fucking Super Bowl. Mark it down, sir. Mark it down. <laughs> Mark it down. I have I don't know. I don't think Tom Brady will be denied. I have no hope. I mean, he won't. I'm just I'm just preparing for the worst. I would rather Tom Brady win a thousand Super Bowls than Atlanta win one. Yeah. For sure. Fuck you, Atlanta. Dirty fucks. Dirty birds. Dirty turds. Shitty, ugly uniforms and stuff. That being said, man, they look ridiculous. Fuck them. I'm not giving them any more credit. You're awful and you're shitty people. And your fucking quarterback wears diapers. Julio Jones is a fucking cunt. And by so time, are you. Your city has AIDS. By the time this uh, thing is over, this podcast is on YouTube, uh, we already know who's going to play him next. So. I think Green Bay Maybe. Gonna I'm going to try and have this up before the game. Fuck I think you. Green Bay's going to win. Green Bay at Atlanta or Atlanta at Dallas? I mean, I think a home field advantage for the Cowboys I think Green at least. Bay is going to the Super Bowl to lose to Tom. Oh, that'd be terrible. No, it wouldn't. I think uh, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a limb here. Pittsburgh versus Green Bay Super you're, Bowl. You're saying Brady goes school. down? Brady goes down to bed. Big Ben. Steelers look beast right now. You, you said to your wife, they played Miami. They don't look beast against anything. No, no, I, I didn't know fucking clue what I'm talking about. Hey, I, this is nothing to do with anything either. But I liked how Thomas Davis called OBJ a cancer. Is he really? <laughs> yeah, he said he's a cancer sometimes. That made me joyous. That was before their game last week when they got. You can't be a partial team. cancer. You're either a cancer or you're not a cancer. cancer. Graham Gano had surgery. Who cares? On his plant foot to better prepare himself for another dismal season. Well, maybe that's what fucking it was. He uh, was hitting because his foot was in fucking terrible pain. Maybe he just sucks. Maybe. 
That's what I'm going to. His numbers have been going down, but if he had a, a violent going injury. Going down? You know, I will give you one more chance. In. I'll give you another chance. I will not. Fuck you. You ruined the season. He's still a fucking pay. If he would not get fired on Black Monday, he's not going to get he's fired. He's got one more year on his contract. We were reading about it. It's oh, very, it's very unlikely that we get rid of him. Wow. All on right, the bright now. side, we get Andy Lee back. No, that's right. Andy Lee until, until his fucking... What happened to Polardi? Pinky toe hurts. Is he gone? He'll probably be at camp doing some competition and such. I like that. Kelvin Benjamin, 941 yards, 7 touchdowns, 63 receptions on the year. A much better stat line than it seemed because he looked like ass all fucking year. Yeah. Like, that's I, a I was surprising stat line. I was really surprised uh, that Kelvin had that many yards. but It didn't uh, seem that way. It, yeah, it just didn't feel that way. They weren't when we needed them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there were some big chunks of yards. He's not a short yardage receiver. So 14.7 average, I think. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. awesome. But let's so, see if him and, and Funchess and the other receivers. Funchess, the, the, the thing that stood out about Atlanta, the, the game itself, the, the receivers man, it. are so fucking I don't sharp. Want to talk about better. No, teams. but I want to. See if Kel, so Calvin Benjamin tweeted about, "Hey, Falcons looking good." At least he's watching. Can he learn something from fucking what's Julie Jenkins? Julie Jenkins. Jenkins. Julie Jenkins. Whatever. Could he Jenkins learn? Jenkins or Jenkins? Jenkins. Like J E N K I N S. Yeah. That's Julio Jones or Julio Jones for the people who do not follow. Or Reddit. black bastard in the letter. <laughs> <laughs> And another bad reason about fucking Atlanta. Um, yeah, the, everybody, he's passing the ball around to everybody. Everybody's catching. I just want to see that happen with Benjamin and Funches to get that sharp. Uh, I'll ask you guys some questions. What do you think? Uh, let's just pick a couple guys that could be possible salary cap casualties for our team this offseason. Charles Who? Johnson. Yeah, Charles Johnson. Johnson. There's no doubt. Uh, a lot of people that are guesstimating, some are throwing Stewart into the... Uh, Opinion bag. Well, here's the thing. What is, other option do we have? At eight, we have tons of options. <laughs> we have uh, two amazing running backs coming out at number eight. Must I remind saying, you, I have no college draft. knowledge. We have yes, Leonard yeah. Fournette coming out of LSU, and we have Dalvin Cook Fournette. coming out of Florida State. The, the Dalvin Cook. Cook is the best running back. Uh, the best running back in Florida Slightly State history. related question. Are there any top ten projected defensive ends? Is there an Ezekiel Elliott yes. out there for us? But I think they'll be taken before eight. Right before eight. I feel like we're going defense. I I don't have a problem well, with going always, defense. How, no, can I, we get the fucking O-line fixed? There is no O-line. That's what no, I have heard. It, it, yeah, there is no, one. No second or third value round. There oh, there's is nothing even one out there. One, oh. Offensive tackle rated anywhere close to our our pick, and that's yeah. Cam Robinson out of Alabama. And, and I can't have I think I he's probably going to get picked before us. But even if he fell to us, he's got some character concerns, and that's shown to be kind of a, a red flag for the Carolina Panthers. We need to fucking Did trade you research for too? Joe Thomas. Cleveland needs to give them to us. We need the third, the Greg Olson play on the pick. Yeah, the they gave away pick. Alex Mack to. Like, yeah, you know, why can't we have give Joe us, Thomas? Just give us fucking Joe Thomas. Could you do that? Like I'm saying, I'm saying, can't get murdered every game. It's not like he's helping you. A lot of people are also talking. Good, uh, a veteran or two picked up. AJ Klein is another cap casualty possibility. Well, that's a really well, AJ good Klein point. is a free agent. Exactly. Well, so I mean, it, yeah, I can't salary, imagine you don't want to pay him when you got Shaq to pay and all these other fools. I can't imagine that there isn't a team out there that is willing to pay him more than us. And quite, and quite honestly, David Mayo is a real good fucking choice yeah. for a backup and with you know and younger. So I mean, like, I good luck. AJ Klein could probably gonna go. Right, yeah, exactly. At times, Mayo looks like he could. Match and if that's, I mean, he's too. always going to you know be on special teams regardless. So, I mean, he's definitely that would be my prediction that Mayo would take over that captain spot on special teams if he fucking left. That'd be nuts. Because Mayo's good as shit on special teams. Yep, you, you, they can't hold can't, the Mayo. One of the cap casualties can't hold the Mayo. Be Trey Boston. <laughs> I so, doubt that. That would be a casualty. That'd be a cap glory <laughs> team. Whatever. I don't know. Glory. Kelvin uh, needs somebody else besides Ryan Delaire to compare uh, length of dreads, so we need to keep him for that. Phillips has the fucking dread. Or Griffin, I mean. Michael Griffin. Yeah. Griffith. 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 He yeah. fucking disappeared. Lift. Yeah, it was just a bad season. This season is so this just, is, it was just. This season good. is like when you pay, you, you're really excited about a movie that your favorite actor and story is, and you go to the movie, and it's so fucking awful that you don't even remember what it was about, and you just hate yourself for paying to see it, and you're mad at your fucking favorite actor. That's what this season was like. Fuck this season. Fuck your favorite actor. Are, are you thinking about a certain movie? <laughs> no, I feel that way about most movies that suck, which is most of them. Well, what movie would you compare to this season? A shitty movie? Titanic? The new Ghostbusters. Oh wow! Yeah, I would I would put that on. That's the how fucking awful this year was. If yeah. you like that movie, you're a piece of shit, <laughs> and I'm sorry. The movie was fucking terrible, and you're an asshole. 
if you like that movie. You're a fucking asshole. So yeah, that's anyway, it. I'm I done. saw it twice. I yeah. didn't mind it. He's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else? Do I have anything else? Got fucking you, tons you of shit. You didn't predict your Super Bowl. Who do you think is gonna be the Super Bowl? Fucking probably the Patriots. Probably the Patriots and the Falcons. Stop that saying so that. God hard. damn it! I know. I hate that. Uh, I I hate that, but I think that Tom Brady is just gonna whoop their ass. I hope so. <laughs> if they beat Tom Brady, I'm never gonna. I don't see Atlanta ball. being that dominant on the road. So if the Cowboys can get past the Packers, that's not gonna happen. Just saying. Could Dak Prescott's gonna choke, and so is Matt Ryan. And I'm probably wrong. I, about I don't know. It doubt, but either way, like, either way, we're both agree the AFC is going to win, no matter what, right? I hope so. Go Tom Brady. So whoever comes out of the NFC is going to get just killed by Brady. I don't Brady. ever pull for NFC because that hurts my feelings. So you got to see the game last night. I think there's some, you know, a couple things that Texans w- were able to uh, get out of the. Pass. I hope that turnovers are ridiculous. And you know what? I hope that the Patriots win, and then less than a week later. It comes out that they cheated again. <laughs> and then Atlanta fans are all fucking pissed off. And they know our fucking pain. Yeah, I like the And Houston, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And that right. way, nobody That's a good way wins. to look at it. If fucking, the, I Falcons, the Patriots win and it comes out Falcons. that they fucking cheated. You know what I was thinking, too? Just in case, you did pick the Steelers as a, maybe a dark horse. Yeah. That would only joy me because then D'Angelo Williams could have a Super Bowl ring. That right. would... It, it, yeah, that would be good. I would deal with that mm-hmm. with my emotions. And Le'Veon Bell will get one. He'll probably Fuck trade him. it in for He's weed. A prick. Mike Mitchell will get one. That's yeah. right. Mitchell will get he one. He gave us a good. Mitchell's year. good. Yeah, he gave us a good. You year. see the gif of Mitchell? Over, yeah, over where reacting. he was losing his <laughs> damn mind. <laughs> so yeah, I miss you, Mitchell. We go go D Will, man. Fuck it. And go D Will always in life too. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So there's your predictions. We talked about playoffs. We, we need, talked we about need, how awesome. We didn't have new segments. We need new segment ideas. Oh, what did I say? We should ask the uh, yeah. viewer. That's what I'm viewer. saying. What do you want us to fucking talk about? Oh, we want to hang out with some of you fucking said. people. Yeah, we want to hang out. We need an excuse. Oh to yeah, do we this do damn definitely show. need to do that. Two things: we're seriously wanting people to come be on the show with us at least sometimes, and we're seriously going to the Foxborough game. We want a lucky pound cast member or two. To come to well, the fucking we need, New to, we need to do a screening here. process first because we can't be going to a fucking well, we psycho. We start taking requests from now, handsome that's what I'm individuals. So if you want to hang yeah. out with us and pass you our have screening to be process, handsome. Us, you have at to least be as handsome. handsome as us, which is yeah, like a ten. at least as handsome a as ten a, on a, a ten scale. So no competition, you know, no pressure. All right. So then, what else? Handsome. So we need. Rich, that's what, that's what, they gotta have. You gotta be able to fucking afford your shit, dude. If you're broke, yeah, we're not paying. I don't want to have to go pick you up. I'm not buying you. I might buy you something, like a shot. Right. Like a shot. A, sh- a shot. And maybe a cigar. A burger. A cigar. Cigars are a good one. A but sweetie. we're not we're not looking to take care of people. We want somebody who can hang with us. We're not like fly boy fucking making it rain millionaires. But we like to have a good time. So if you're on that level, that's it. Okay, so good. On the level, can afford it their own way, handsome, and what else? I don't know. Handsome's the main thing. Not Canadian. Yeah, handsome's the main thing. Because we already have a Canadian, Brian Dole. What's else? Yeah, please don't be Canadian. Don't no, be no, Canadian. We have enough of that. Uh, that's really all. Well, that's it. All right. You know what? what handsome and can fucking afford it. We also you need car? somebody who knows about college football. Oh, I got a guy. That's you, Tom. And Tom? you have a guy. Awesome. I, I have a guy that I met yesterday. What's up, Zach? If you're actually watching, um, and there's What's a possibility. His last name? No, 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 no. He knows guys. You know they, what else? They have a lot of college knowledge. College knowledge. College, college knowledge. knowledge. How annoying is it to cut that and make that the front of the video? Because maybe a lot of people won't even be able to know that we're trying we'll to just do this cut it off the end and put it I as a know. separate video. Yeah, bam. Is that easier? Maybe. Because I just feel like people need to maybe hear that part, and if they tune out midway because they're we're all or sad. after the show is over, let's just do a fucking Facebook Live real quick saying all that shit, and then he doesn't have to do extra work. Yeah, I just want all you. But we to just, uh, you know what? Oh, why are we talking about this? We should be doing a show. What else? Oh, oh look, do you want to do Steve Smith? We love you, Steve Smith. So much, man. Hall Smitty, fame. you're the best. Your new commercial is awesome. Thanks for coming back here. We know you are going to. I, we, I really well, hope so. Yeah, he lives here. I know. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe not retire and just sign on for one more year and be the heart of this team. Or coach us. Cam. No, 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 yet. I know you got a radio career. That can wait for one more year. You still got some gas in the tank. That would just be a dream come true. Steve Smith finally gets a Super Bowl and helps the Panthers do it. That would be badass. That would be sick. so not going to happen. I know. Oh, yeah. Greg Olson, way to be the best tight end ever also. <sighs> Hopefully man of the year, man. I, sh- I hashtag the shit out of you, Greg Olson. You know that doesn't have any effect on him becoming man of the year. Right? I know, but I fell for that little Facebook live. But and I like to think it did real. get $25,000 for the Hardest Yard Foundation, which is a wonderful foundation headed up by Greg Olson and his wife. And it's not to be confused with the hardest yard lead bar. He's a bad person. It's, it's only one you of those would bars. know about that. It's only one of those bars. 
Yeah. The hardest yard. Yeah, you know what I mean? Take a couple <sighs> shots in the mouth there, dude. Yeah. Th those are not the shots we were talking Come about. Come fucking hang out with us. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. Fuck all the teams left.